So, Gord, thanks for doing this, buddy. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm being, a, being so patient. <laughs> it was worth the wait. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so The Spoons, brand new album, New Day, New World. Just coming off a fantastic turnout at the Great Hall. Yeah, it was kind of the payoff after working toward it for so long. And like you said, not just the, the reaction to the album, but the, the, the shows that we did for the release were just over the top of what even better than I hope. I always get worried when I really like something. Like, I really like this album a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a bad omen because then somebody's going to say something nasty or yeah. it's not going to connect with people like I think. I'm a real bad judge of our own stuff. You know, we put some singles out that I thought were like, oh, you know, I don't know what are we doing? Like, why put it? And it ended up being a big hit. I, have, I, I just don't understand, you know, how that works. Right. <laughs> <laughs> when I really like something, I get really nervous. You know, I think, oh, it's just, yep. I must be wrong. You know? Yeah, oh, but yeah. it does work, and it, it's worked great for you guys, no doubt about yeah. that. I could totally see punk or rock version of All the Wrong Things, like, and crank guitars. Like, uh-huh. it's, as soon as I heard that, I could totally see heavier bands doing cover versions of something you wrote. Yeah, well, that, that kind of, this album has a little bit of... Of all the years, because we went through a lot of changes, and that song is really like from the Stick Figure neighborhood days, which is before we got radio play. Totally, <laughs> so, and, and we were pretty punky and raw back then, fast and in your face, and that's what that kind of harkens back to. And then there are other songs that are more like, you know, funk songs, like the Tell of Lies type things we did with Not Rogers, and this romantic traffic kind of doot doot yep. pop songs. And then there's some darker aria stuff. So that's just one side of. And what we did because we, we we recorded solid 10 years in the 80s so we were right the, oh yeah 80 to 90, to 90 when grunge hit so you kind of change as you go along and we try to reflect that well actually we didn't even try to reflect that this and that it just sort of happened happened in a great way and how about beautiful trap yeah that even on that one i said that there are two songs that have dude dudes like romantic traffic and that's one of them and i, and I swear to god it was not intentional it, it was just writing a song and i came to this part that had this sort of repetitive thing and it just came out and i thought well why not you know um it's, it's kind of a a little hook that will that'll connect with the old fans you know the new people wouldn't even know but other people go hey wait a second that's like a romantic traffic you yeah know, different melody different kind of song altogether but it kind of brings back that uh, that vibe a little bit so is that something you guys took away from working with Nile rogers like just you know, utilizing hooks and being able to identify hooks when they pop up, however they pop up. Yeah, because that's a, one of the things actually I have to say was kind of his idea because I, I was going to put words there. And, you know, the do do part, do 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 Yeah. I was, gonna, I was trying to make some words work there. I remember now saying, no, no, leave that. That's a great base, you know, that's, that's going to be a hook. And I, I, I would have put something stupid there about cars or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe architects, Gord. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it all worked, man. Yeah, for sure. And there are a couple of those on, on in this record. And then you look at, you know, there's a couple of songs. We make jokes about how some of the hooky songs are like, there's a song where Sandy goes la 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 a lot, right? So it's like right. do do do, la la la. Like, yeah. Like, very basic. So I'm just going to get the audience to sing along. I say, it's a good thing you write them easy, you know, because <laughs> it's like along really easily with those those kind of hooks. And the same with that, all the wrong things in the right places. It's got that whoa, whoa part in it, right? So we got do do yeah i'm a genius a literary genius <laughs> you know what the people want <laughs> yes. well simple. that's why neil pert gave you all those compliments right that's right well yeah. he did say something at the beginning i don't know what he would say about this album yeah <laughs> <laughs> we kind of simplified it yeah, <laughs> maybe the dude dudes don't work so well for him, but the Arias for sure. It was like, yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, there was definitely some family involved in this album, correct? Yeah, it, it, again, unplanned, but, you know, <laughs> we have the luxury of uh, recording this over a long time. And at Sandy's studio, she has a separate building at her property where you can you know, take our time. And, and you know, somehow one day I wasn't there, so... Sandy's daughter came in and did backgrounds on her song. It was perfect because she sounds so much like her mom. Yeah. So <laughs> that worked out great. And then my, my son's quite a good songwriter too. And I caught him playing a couple little melodies and ended up using two of them like for two of the songs. Um, 
life on demand and landing lights. He has great little piano hooks that we put in there. And that's Matthew, right? Yes, Matthew. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's because he was a home birth. <laughs> well, you know, the first... Look, at you're trying to freak me out with all these details. <laughs> he is trying to freak you out. Is it working? Is there a drone outside my house? Yeah. Right? Once you put it in the book, Gord, it's out there, man. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to be careful. Yeah, <laughs> I, I forget some of the things that, that I wrote in the book, and, and it's been out for a while now, so it takes me a while to remember. And I, I kind of made a joke once. I've, I've talked to people about writing and, and writing your own book, how 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 you know much therapy it is, and how revealing it is about your life. And I, and I also said it's a great thing to have because, like, ten years from now, or whenever, or twenty years from now, I'll be reading it, an old man going, "Wow, this guy sure had an interesting life." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember, so it's good to have for myself. And you were actually into writing before you were into music. Yeah, yeah, right from like the puppy school days. I always loved writing those stories, and 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 then later not in high school, the English teacher really took me under his wing because he saw he liked what I did. I was always a little quirky, and but I learned early on that to, the stuff that scares you, or that you're embarrassed about, or you don't think anybody. You don't want anybody to really know are, are really gold. Those are the things people want to know. You know, they, that uh, I found out in the book too that the few times I got a little bit more personal and stuff, people said I want more of that. You know, they want to hear those those secrets and then your really intimate feelings about things. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So that, because uh, it's getting to know the writer. It's getting to know you as a person, and I think yeah. it's engaging. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. You got to give them some of the dirt too. They, you know, they hate, they hate you if you're. If it's too perfect, yeah, yeah, because then you're leaving them out. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. You know, people think everything just worked perfect. Now, we had a lot of failures and a lot of dark things happening to us, and that kind of gives people relief, I guess, sometimes when they go, geez, I guess I'm not the only one. Yeah.